able to increase my credit score by almost 100 points in a year, taking me from fair to excellent credit. And I'm going to share with you what I did and how you can take similar steps to raise your credit score. Hi, I'm Shane of the Love Vibe, and I create videos to help you eliminate debt, grow your income, and build wealth. I used to have pretty good credit, but then I hit some rough financial times where I was missing payments, my debt was high, and my utilization was high as well. And so that caused my credit score to plummet down into the 600s. But then over the past year, I was able to raise my credit score up to an excellent level. And I'm gonna share with you what I did and how you can raise your credit score in a short amount of time as well by a lot of points. I want to be honest with you, a credit score is simply a measure of how well you manage debt. Yes, debt. So that means that you have to get into some form of debt in order to establish a credit score or credit history. So you might be wondering like, is it even worth establishing a credit history if I have to go into debt to have a good credit score? And I did a recent video about that, which you can check out here, talking about the importance of a credit score. So now that we know what a credit score is, it is a measure of how well you manage debt, I'm gonna talk about the factors that go into developing and establishing your credit score. Now that we know that credit revolves around debt, I wanna tell you the six factors that contribute to your credit score so you know exactly what you need to pinpoint in order to improve your credit score. Those six things are your credit utilization, your credit age, your payment history, your derogatory marks, the number of accounts that you have, and the number of inquiries that you have. I wanna briefly explain what each of those factors are so that way you know exactly how you can pinpoint them to improve your credit. So credit utilization is how much of your credit are you using? So let's say you have $100,000 of credit available to you. And FYI, that's a whole lot of credit. But let's say you have $100,000 of credit available to you, AKA a credit limit, and you're using $90,000 of that credit. That means that you have a 90% utilization. But let's say you only use $1,000, then your credit utilization will be 1%. And the lower you are, the better your utilization is. And typically they say that your utilization should be 30% across all of your accounts and 30% within each account. The next thing is credit aid. And it is simply that. How long have you had that credit line open? The longer you have a credit line open, the better. So you want to have a long and mature credit age because it's going to benefit you. Next is your payment history. How reliable are you at paying off your debts at the agreed upon time? Do you ever pay late? Are you always paying on time? That is your payment history. A derogatory mark happens when a creditor lends you credit, such as a revolving credit line, AKA a credit card, or a loan, such as a personal loan, and you default on it or you become delinquent, or you do something bad, you don't do what you agree to do, they will then tell on you and say that you are no good, and they will give you a derogatory mark. And that typically happens when your account goes to collections. The number of accounts you have factor into your credit score, and it is self-explanatory, meaning that the number that you have, whether it be a lot or a little, affects your credit. And if you have more accounts, the better. The last factor is inquiries, and that happens when you ask a new creditor for credit, and basically they will notify the credit bureaus that you are looking for credit and that you are trying to take on new lines of credit and new debt. So basically, I was able to improve my credit score by working on all six of those factors. And I used six different strategies to be able to improve my credit score by almost 100 points in about a year. The first strategy that I used was to add credit lines. So you might be thinking like, well, that's the whole point of me trying to improve my credit score anyway. I'm trying to get a mortgage or a new credit card and my score is just too low to be able to get one of those credit lines. So how could you possibly add credit lines when you are in a tough spot with your credit score? Well, there is the option to add yourself as an authorized user 
on someone else's credit line. And this typically works with credit cards. So what you'll want to do is you want to go to someone that you trust or trust you really. <laughs> you'll want to go to maybe like your parents, a significant other or a spouse, and you'll want to see if they have a credit line that has a high credit limit and also is very mature. There are three ways that adding a credit line helps you to improve your credit score. So one, it increases the number of accounts that you have. Then two, if you find a mature credit line to be added to, that would increase your credit age. And then three, it will decrease your credit utilization, assuming that the credit that you're adding is large and the person's utilization on their card is low. So if you're able to add an extra $25,000 of credit limit onto your credit, you're then decreasing your overall utilization, which is really good. The next strategy that I used was to pay off debt. I had $108,000 of debt. Yes, I had a lot of debt. And you can learn more about why I had so much debt here. But in two years, I was able to pay off $60,000 of that debt. So that helped my credit score by decreasing my utilization, which is really good. But it actually had two negative effects. One, because I paid off my credit, it decreased the credit limit that I had because some of those accounts actually came off of my credit. So then it also decreased the number of accounts that I had. So that is kind of like a cash 22, but overall it's definitely a great thing to pay off your debt and I highly suggest that you do that. Now I didn't have a whole lot of inquiries, but I did want to reduce the two inquiries that I had. And typically you have soft inquiries and hard inquiries and the hard inquiries affect your credit score. So you want to reduce the number of inquiries that you have. But inquiries tend to fall off of your report after some time. So you're not typically dealing with a whole lifespan worth of inquiries. But again, you want to reduce the number of inquiries you have on your report. So what I did was simply to refute the inquiries. You can refute inquiries with your credit bureaus just by filing some paperwork and telling them that you want to challenge the inquiry. And what typically happens is they won't even debate you. They will just drop them off of your account. So that is how I was able to reduce the number of inquiries that I had, thereby increasing my score. I did the same thing to remove the number of derogatory marks on my credit history. So remember I told you I fell on some hard times and I missed some payments. I actually missed upwards to 120 payments on one of my credit cards. And so that resulted in a derogatory mark. But by refuting it, they actually just removed it off of my account and that was the only derogatory mark that I had. So I went down to zero, thereby increasing my credit score just by reducing my derogatory marks. After I was able to recover from those difficult financial times, I was able to start paying my creditors on time. So that helped to improve my credit score in two ways. One, I was able to have a good payment history. And then two, it decreased my credit utilization because as I was paying down debt, that means that I was having less of a credit utilization. And so I had more available credit to me. So that helped to improve my score a whole lot. After I was able to improve my score a bit, I was able to open up new accounts and that also helped improve my credit score because I was able to decrease my utilization and also increase the number of accounts that I had. But it did have some negative effects, obviously, because then I ended up with inquiries. But overall, the inquiries do not weigh as high as some of the other factors. I can't tell you how many points I was able to gain from doing each one of those strategies because I was doing them all at the same time. But something that you should keep in mind is that some factors in the credit score weigh a little bit more than others. For example, your inquiries weigh less than your credit utilization and your credit age and payment history. But you want to develop a strategy that is going to help you to attack several of those factors in your credit score to be able to see a difference in your score. And if you keep doing them over time, your credit score will definitely improve. 
You can use any of the six strategies that I use to improve my credit score by almost 100 points in one year because I'm sure that it will help you to also improve your credit score. So good luck and remember to check out this other video I did on credit and subscribe so that I can catch you in the next video.